Hi everyone, Brian here. I am on the DNL trail. That is to my back. There's the Lehigh across the way. Now behind me is my helper today. That is Asher. He's going to be holding the camera and recording for me for certain things. Hi. Today we are going to take a tour on a little spur trail, or actually it's more like a connecting trail from the DNL that goes all the way up to the LE. And it is our Three Ponds Trail. So here's the sign, and it is a sensitive habitat. So yes, please, if you come through here, try to uh, adhere to these rules because it is, and as you'll see, it's beautiful, it's pristine, and we wanna keep it that way. It is, as it says here, home to a lot of important endangered species. So we're gonna take a walk through here, see what kind of things we can see, some wildlife. I saw some red-winged blackbirds coming through. Maybe we'll see some turtles. Um, we had a lot of rain last night, so the ponds are gonna be a little bit high, so that's pretty cool too. So anyhow, why don't you come with me and we'll uh, take a little walk through the three ponds. So to start off, there is going to be a lot of vegetation. Um, you're gonna see grasses growing through here. That's last year's. And also a bunch of hay-scented fern likes to grow back here as well. Deep beneath all of last year's ferns are this year's. Fiddleheads are grown up. Hay-scented fern is beautiful. However, um, it's also a signifier, a sign that we have too many deer in our area because the deer eat all of the other vegetation except for the hay-scented fern. So because it has no more competition now, it is able to actually grow and fill up entire areas like this right here. As you're walking on this trail, you will eventually start to come up to some of the ponds. Now this particular pond is a shallow one. Um, it is a little bit higher than usual and it wraps around to the other side of the property through there. I don't know if you can see the bank or not, but this is uh, just the beginning of it. We're starting to get into the heart of this uh, wetland area. So here we're starting to enter in the actual uh, three ponds area proper. So you can see here is one to my left. There are some tubes, pipes that connect them so that they don't overflow and they can flow into each other, feeding each other as it rains and as springs come through here. Now this little trail here, um, you can walk it if you have good boots, maybe muck boots of some sort. But what's gonna happen is it's gonna start getting super muddy. And although my shoes are waterproof, I do not want to go in here because it will sink pretty deep. So now we're going to follow Ash out of here. And we're going to take a turn to the left up here. We're going to go check out another area of ponds. Now this area is pretty swampy. This is just a big puddle that pops up whenever we get a lot of rain but easy to get through. In fact, Asher's gonna show us a secret on how to get through without walking through the mud like I just did. And then we're right back on the trail. So, back to what we're doing here. Now, this pond is pretty big and pretty cool. Oh. All right, I'm whispering and being very quiet because an Eagle Scout project a couple years ago, or last year, was to put turtle platforms in the pond. I don't know if you got a chance to see those. I sure hope you did. But turtles, they hear us coming, and they scatter almost immediately when they hear us, even no matter how quiet you can possibly be. But that right there, the turtle platform. Turtles climb out of the pond, and they like to bask warm themselves up on these platforms out of the water. There's another one over there too. Pretty cool. So here at this pond, what I'm gonna do is I am gonna walk out carefully onto this platform, this dock right here. Kind of give you a panoramic view of this area. Now when it is warm and hot and muggy and sweaty out here, there will be tons and tons of bugs flying around. A lot of aquatic species. Dragonflies, mayflies, caddisflies, damselflies. 
crane flies, midges, some biting midges, mosquitoes. But you always have the good with the bad. So we're gonna leave this platform and continue on on this little tour of the uh, pond habitat. We're gonna go through this big patch of skunk cabbage next to a nice wet area. So yeah, it's a very unique wetland habitat. It is, it is very cool back here. One of my favorite places to come and play. When I have to come, in, uh, come out and collect our uh, aquatic macros for uh, our pond labs, when we have our field trips, I always volunteer to come out here to do this because it is just a very serene, beautiful place to come and spend some time and doing something good for work. So here's a bridge so we don't get some wet feet crossing this. I'm gonna continue a little bit further. And I'm gonna show you this other little pond. It's pretty, pretty shallow, but another cool place where uh, providing a lot of habitat for all sorts of animals, plants, you name it. Pretty cool place back here. You can get lost if you, if you, uh, if you really wanted to. If that was your goal for the day, this is where I would recommend doing it. And then there's the mountain, the Kittatinny, right in the background. And this is all Lehigh Gap Nature Center property, which is pretty awesome. Oh, looks like I found a deer print. Deer coming back here to get a drink of water and maybe a snack on some grass. There's another one. move on a little bit further see what we can see I'm hearing red winged blackbirds right now calling at least I did just a minute ago now I'm not a birder I know a little bit about birds enough to be dangerous but I do see a, a red winged blackbird it's up in that tree over there let me see if I can get close enough to get a good video of it and there it is well, if you saw that for a split second there, that was a red-winged blackbird. Continue this walk through here and see what we can see now. We have turtle platforms over here as well. I'm going to try and sneak up as best I can. Try and catch some turtles, but I tell you, they are very skittish. So, I see a, a turtle on that second platform in the middle over there. I'm going to try and zoom in and see if we can't see it. a turtle, I think. Yep. There we go. All right, now there is a turtle on that platform. Usually there's a bunch more and they're all stacked up on top of one another. But as soon as I get closer, let's see what happens. Oh, there we go. As soon as it saw us. Yeah. And I don't even think they taste good. Well, at least from what I would imagine. Anyhow, so there's another dock for access to the ponds. A lot of research is done out here with colleges and, and we do a lot of our own little ecological studies, um, demonstration studies for our camps and our clubs, <clears throat> field trips, all sorts of educational opportunities out here to teach about the wetland area, the ponds, the types of insects and plants that live around here. This is pretty much, pro this is probably the biggest of all of the ponds and probably the deepest too. I would not recommend going out in there and wading in it because the silt is about a foot, maybe two feet deep in some places. But as you come along, there are paths all around these ponds. But I would totally encourage you to come out here and explore this area, but just be a good steward of the land. Keep it nice for yourself and for others for when you want to come back. I'll give you all a shot of this pond too. And look at that, we have some geese. They're in here quite often. They're very tolerable of people. Tolerant of people. You're taking this trail to get to the other side of that pond we were just at. I would recommend you do not bother with this building here. It is not um, ours. It belongs to a, uh, a type of scouting camping group, I believe. 
Um, they've been good neighbors and we want to keep it that way. So we will respect their privacy as you walk through here. Oh, wow, cool. Got a lot of rain last night and a lot of our springs are really flowing. So here we have a rock to cross. Very nice. That is rainwater coming off of the mountain. That is a sign that we are in a, in a watershed and that water is following gravity straight down into the river. Our mountain is literally shedding water from raining last night. So, let's cross this nice and safely. There it is, making its way down to the pond. And so are we. Some things that you'll notice back here when you're hiking are these big rocky outcroppings sedimentary rock it's all mudstone sandstone some shale some slate Whoa, that's a lot of you can see all of the layers if you watch Chad's geology video he'll explain this in in more depth than I am but all of these layers are layers of sediment that stacked up on top of one another another over millions and millions of years to form this rock which eventually through plate tectonics made its way up here onto the side of a mountain. Just to give you an idea how big these rocks are, there's Asher on that mudstone standing next to this one. Asher, why don't you go stand over here next to this one? Yeah, this one's a big boy. yeah it is pretty big, right? I can't even fit both of you in the shot. Okay, there we go. So yeah, some pretty cool stuff to see back here. Well, folks, that's it. I've shown you as much as I possibly can with my phone and camera system here. <laughs> but you know what? The best way? Come out here and experience it. I'm hoping that I gave everybody just a taste of what you can see when you explore this area. And hopefully get everybody motivated to come out here and check it out themselves. The Three Ponds area. It's beautiful. It's serene. Make a day out of it.